Today is the last Monday of the school year. It's the last Monday of fourth grade for this one. It's the last Monday of the week for me. It is like a ghost town around here. It is so weird because they say we've got school until the 26th, but that last week, there's not many folks come to school. Teachers are through taking grades, students are just toast. Even at Barrett's young age, there's not, there wasn't hardly anybody in the drive through this morning. So, tomorrow, the boy is an all A honor team. And for a lot of folks, that's no big deal. But for me, that's one of the coolest things because I never did straight A's. And this is his second time this year he's been invited to this team. Every other time, like I said earlier, you know, he's just one or two points away, but he's there. So tomorrow we get to do that T. So that's going to be cool. I've never really seen myself being accident prone. Um, I guess in retrospect, I, I have always been accident prone injuries and stuff it started out when I was um, young when I was seven my sister and I were washing dishes and she would wash them uh, I would rinse them off or she would wash them rinse them off hand them to me and I would dry them and put them up and we had this big salad bowl and I was drying it and lightning it was coming a storm and lightning struck in our backyard and it scared me and I started trying to run and when I did, it was like the Fred Flintstone, boogity, 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 boogity. and my feet shot out from under me and I landed face first, but I caught myself on my hands. The only problem is that big salad bowl had fallen before me and broke everywhere. So there was glass everywhere and I landed like that. And I got 42 stitches right here. 42 at seven years old. Two years later, my father says, don't you go in that hayfield and play with your cousins. So I went to the hayfield and played with my cousins, fell off a hay bale and broke my arm. Then I got into high school playing football and I had your typical injuries, you know, broke fingers, uh, broke my nose a couple times. Um, when I was in Little League, I broke my cheekbone. Uh, but, you know, nothing major. Got to college, uh, was playing junior college football and ended up blowing my knee. And when I say blowing my knee out, when you say that, that usually means ligaments and everything. I just tore cartilage. So I tore cartilage in my knee. I did uh, my first bicep. I was picking up an ice chest full of soda, and when I curled this one up, everything was cool. Or this one up, everything was cool. When I curled this one up, my bicep snapped. I tore the cartilage in my other knee, and they did surgery and repaired it. And when you repair cartilage, that means you just cut the torn piece out. So now it's bone on bone in places on my on my knee. You know, other bicep picked up a television, popped my other bicep. Same exact thing. Had surgery, had that repaired. Then I step off a fire truck at Vacation Bible School do, doing John Tree. Hey, how you doing? It's John Tree. Huh? Ruptured a disc in my back. Had surgery on that. Now, I have a problem with one of my shoulders. And it's getting to the point where I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to deal with it. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm holding on this steering wheel. But man, I am just thumping right now. If I do this, oh yeah, that's my happy spot right there. Uh, but it's kind of hard to live your life sitting like this. So I'm trying my best to make it until um, summer's almost over. I'm thinking towards the end of July, I want to take a vacation this summer. Uh, we for years vacation revolved around wherever I was going to be speaking for a week and then the family would come up and we'd take a couple days after that just hang out in the town where I was in the city where I was um, and I'm speaking this year I'll be in Clay County but that's really not a destination point so I'm thinking I want to take a team of people to Brooklyn I've got a friend that's a church planner up there and so I really want to go see Nate and go to his church and kind of get my mind wrapped around Brooklyn and then next summer 
I'm going to take a college team. And I think that's what I would like to do this summer is to take my family up to Brooklyn. Problem with that is, is um, that's not a cheap trip, which I'm a youth minister. <laughs> it's plenty of money. I don't know. It's just finding the time to do it. So maybe towards the end of July, we'll do that. And then by the time we get going back to school and stuff, I'll probably end up trying to have a shoulder worked on. You never think when you're a kid the stuff that you do to your body is going to affect you years down the road. But all the heavy weights I used to lift and all the the sports that I played and when I was a landscaper, that kind of real hard physical work, it's caught up to me. I realize it's Monday, but you don't have to do this text Wrangler. And I also realize I'm probably one of the only people that still does HTML code, but it's the only thing I've taught myself, so I'm just kind of going with it. But now you're frustrating me. A problem with the server. My server? Your server? Can you hit? Can anybody help? No, no. <laughs> Technology. It's really simple. Every Monday I come in, work on the internet, get on my web pages, run out of gas, work on my web pages, get all that up going. And today I made a couple adjustments and everything was groovy. And then all of a sudden I said, nope, can't do it. Because your server, it says something about a server error. Like, huh. So I contact the company and they go, no, that's, yeah, it's no, that's, it's, it's your server. It has not been a bad day, but it's just been one of those days where nothing just... Ah, I had trouble with my Starbucks card the other night saying, hey, it won't authorize the transaction or whatever. And it said, try it again. I tried it five times. So this morning, Jessica meets me right after my shower. She's like, hey, it charged us for all those transactions we, we were trying to make. And I was like, well... Forward me that email and I'll get in touch with him. So I get in touch with him and the transactions didn't go through. They just stuck the stuck it out there and said, yeah, it's there. No, no, it's not. Starbucks says, yeah, uh, once um, once your financial group realizes that the transactions didn't go through, then it'll be erased. And I was like, cool. They didn't fix my, my card. They don't they didn't give me a solution for that. So that stunk and it froze my credit card up. So I went to get gas today, stuck my credit card in and said, denied. I was like, whew, that hadn't happened since before Jessica and I were dating. When Jessica and I were dating, I got denied a couple times just because I forgot to pay bills. Um, but she's in charge of bills, so I sent her a message, hey, my credit card just got denied. She said, you want me to bring you another credit card? I said, no, I just, we need to get this one fixed. And she's the financial person, so she's in charge of my card too. So I can't call and go, oh, yeah, open up this car. My name's Jessica. Then, stinking internet, <laughs> web page wouldn't upload. They say it's our server. Our server, I guess, would be our carrier. And our carrier has been stinking lately. And I'm so frustrated with the internet. I watch stuff on TV, and when I do have the internet where it's functional, and it doesn't look like anybody else ever has trouble with the internet. It's just here in Clinton. Man, it's so frustrating. But it is what it is. And yes, I realize there's a lot worse things going on. But right now, that's just kind of got under my skin. Go get him graduated. Yeah. So you like Fraser, huh? Did you see the pictures? Yeah. I saw the pictures. I got them at the kids. We gotta be busy anymore. So love God, love people, and be better. See you.